Okay, 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 okay. Robo Taminas, hear me out. With today's Becky Lynch figure being in Siren X-Men inspired gear, I figured we could form our own version of the X-Men to really step up the game of LJB security here. But we are not men. Okay, yeah, I know y'all aren't men, but Becky Lynch calls herself the man. And plus, the X-Men have lots and lots of female characters in their group. Then why aren't they called the X-Women? Or better yet, the X-People? Ah, I think you two are missing the point here. Alright, you see, you two do a great job of being the head of LJV security, especially with your little laser eye deal that you both have. But... I think we can make the security team even stronger, even more important. Can we be called the X-Robot people? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. We could be whatever. The name is not important here, okay? But I was thinking we could bring someone into our group, someone that can bring some celebrity status to LJV, really put us on the map. And since Deadpool and Wolverine just came out, may I present to you girls... Zenday pool. Now obviously this is just a figure, but just imagine, just imagine using the magic cabinet and bringing Zenday pool to life. Um, I don't know about that. Oh come on, Robo Tamines, just imagine, just imagine little Zenday pool living her day-to-day -day life here in Lumberjillville, using her superpowers in combination with ours, keeping Lumberjillville safe. Wait, what superpowers do you have, Mayor Aaron? Well, well I, I thought, <laughs> thought it was pretty obvious. I mean, I could, I could shoot lasers out of my glasses here, okay? Well, well, I guess I can't yet, but once I get Secretary Stasse to make the right modifications, I'll be pew, shooting lasers just like y'all. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you trying to find a way to bring the Zendaya figure to life again? Um, no? No, you're not allowed to use the magic cabinet. It's off limits. Yeah, well, there goes all our fun robot Taminas, okay? It looks like it's just up to you two to protect Lumber Jillville, all right? But I have some Becky Lynch figures to review. I'm gonna go do that here. <laughs> No. Ah, blast it! She took the key! Welcome to Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. Now before we get started, I just want to remind you to please hit subscribe to become an official resident of LJV and get a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews. Like today's a very exciting review of WWE Elite Series 112, Becky Lynch. Now this comes at a time where Becky's future is kind of uncertain in the wrestling business. You know, she made a cryptic post on her Instagram, made it sound like she might be retiring, but I'm not ready to accept that. So we are going to go through with today's review. Like she's going to get more figures in the future and she's going to keep wrestling in the future. But either way, we love Becky here in Lumberjillville and she is one of my top four favorite women's wrestlers. So I'm excited to review these figures. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at the packaging. Alright, so let's start off taking a closer look at the packaging here. Now, I've said this since they made the change to the newest style Elite Boxes. The quality here is horrible. I got three. I got one of the regular version and two of the chases. And the boxes are just 
almost near impossible to find in mint condition. I'm just going to say that. If you're a mint on box collector, ordering online might not be the way to go. It might be better if you go in store to inspect it, but it's going to be real hard to find mint on card examples of any elites really with this new style packaging because it's just really flimsy, really cheap feeling. But the overall aesthetic of it looks freaking spectacular. I think it looks really cool. Love the image of Becky here. Love how the figures look on display, even with that limited window size. I still think it looks really good. We can see the figures real good. We see the extra hands. And then we also see the ladder accessory. Now this left one is the regular release and the right one is the chase version. So looking at it from all different angles, we have another image of the beautiful and stunning and talented Becky Lynch. And on the back, we have an image that says, Sound the siren, big time Bex entered the 2023 Women's Money in the Bank match with her sights set on claiming the briefcase. And here is an image of that regular release attire. Now, obviously, the Chase attires use pretty much everything the same. The only thing different is the figure paint scheme. So that's why the back of the package is the same there. And then we have the rest of the line here. And we have two first time in the lines which is pretty cool. We have Channing, Stax, Lorenzo, and JD McDonough, so that's pretty neat. Now, I am going to open these up, and let's start off with reviewing the standard release. WWE Elite Series 112 Becky Lynch Standard Release. This attire is from the 2023 Money in the Bank Premium Live event. On this night, Becky would compete in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match that was ultimately won by EO Sky. Alright, some overall first impressions of this figure is this figure is awesome. It is so much fun. I love when they make women's wrestling figures in inspired gear, especially superhero inspired gear. And this Becky is inspired by Siren, the X-Men character. At first I thought it was Rogue, but then I looked a little closer and I'm like, okay, it's definitely based off of Siren. And I think that's really cool. We've had a Harley Quinn-esque Alexa Bliss Elite in the past. Also, Tegan Knox's basic was loosely based on Captain Marvel. And here... We have, let me put a little Marvel Legends Siren figure next to her. Now, I actually bought this because it came with a Build-A-Tank piece that I used for Shotzi's Mini Tank. So keep that in mind if you're looking to get this Siren uh, Marvel Legends figure that does come with part of a Build-A-Tank that I made Shotzi's little tank with. So as you can see, the attire is very similar. You can definitely tell how Becky was inspired by Siren. So I think that is really, really cool. It's just a lot of fun, and like I said, I love when they do unique attires for these women's wrestling figures. Really makes them stand out, and this figure really, really stands out. Something else I also noticed is it looks like they added some coloration to the hair, and that's something I've been big on in Lumberjova from the start of reviewing these women's wrestling figures is they need to add darker colored roots, add some highlights, make the hair have more character, and here it looks like they did that. Now, we'll obviously take a closer look at it when we get to the... Um, face sculpt, face scan, and hair sculpt. But yeah, I, I think this figure is so cool. It really stands out on the shelf, especially with all the Beckys. I have every Becky Lynch figure. This one stands out the most. Well, right next to that, then now forever four pack one because that entrance is tire. But either way, with this figure, we also get a ladder to simulate the women's Money in the Bank ladder match this attire is from. So that is cool. I have tons of ladders, y'all. And she comes packaged with closed fist hands. But she also comes with some semi-open grasping hands, so that's really, really cool. So yeah, let's take a closer look at this figure, and let's look at that face sculpt, face scan, and hair sculpt. So this is a brand new face scan, face sculpt, and hair sculpt for Becky, and I think it looks freaking awesome. Now, she's had some hits in the past. She's had some misses. Look at Elite Series 100. That face scan and sculpt was one of the biggest whiffs by Mattel of all time in any of their wrestling figures, in my opinion. But here, this looks awesome. Now, this is very similar to some of her previous sculpts, and I'll do a little side-by-side -side later with that Survivor Series Elite that's very similar to this. However, this is different. It's brand new from what I can tell, and it looks awesome. Now, my scan was printed on this sculpt very, very well, and that's important to note, as I always do with your women's wrestling figures, make sure that scan is printed on exactly where it needs to be. If it's a little bit off, it makes the face look really wonky, but here, it looks tremendous. And honestly, I am going to show the face scan and sculpt of my Chase, because I'm looking at the Chase beside me, and I feel like that Chase figure, it looks like Becky is right beside me. That sounds strange, but the face scan and sculpt looks perfect on that one and here it looks really really good near perfect right it really does look like becky from all different angles 
Now the hair sculpt, I believe this is the first time they've used this hair sculpt on Becky. As you can see, it's a little bit longer than what we've seen on her. And it's more straight over each of her shoulders. And there's also hair going around the back. Now I love the color red that they went with. They went with the more natural darker type red, not just a bright orange like they've used before. And what they tried to do here is add her highlights in the front. Now if you look at images of her on this night you can see that she had some highlights in the front of her hair and this is something as i mentioned i've really wanted mattel to start doing with the women's wrestling figures i've been advocating it for years to add more detail to the hair on these women's wrestling figures because they take a lot of pride in it a lot of them have really cool really awesome looking hair and the details just weren't there before but here it is cool that we have like those highlights in the front but i have to say the way it's applied is a little bit questionable, and I say that, I don't know if they went a little heavy, but as you can see in the front, it's a lot lighter than the rest of the red, and it's just kind of applied sloppily. It really doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to. We'll see how the chase figure looks, but yeah, this in particular doesn't look the best, right? Now, if you're looking at this figure from afar, it looks great. I love that you can tell she has highlights in the front, perfect but if you look at it up close that's when you start seeing how it looks kind of like kind of weird kind of like uh someone tried doing a custom job adding highlights to her hair right so it's kind of a catch-22 i really like when they add detail to the hair but here i feel like they might have gone a little heavy with that brighter orange paint and it just doesn't really go in line with her hair strands and it looks kind of off in my opinion but overall, I think this new head hair sculpt is spectacular. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. Now, what really stands out on this figure in particular is the attire. You know, it's got the bright yellow, the green, the black. It, it looks awesome. It does make you think of Rogue from X-Men, even though it's Siren inspired. It just really makes her look like a superhero here, and I'm really glad they went with this in figure form. Now, as far as the body sculpt goes, this is very, very similar, and I will show you later in the video, to her Survivor Series Elite, which is really good. That one was just in all red, so here we have a lot more paint detail, but the body sculpt itself appears appears to be about the same but it works really well for Becky I really like how we have a smooth navel here everybody we don't have that dimpled navel where it looks like body paint it does look like she is wearing that one piece type suit and it looks really really cool here now we do have sculpting between the chest and as far as other sculpting that's about it here I think what really stands out is the deco so as you can see here we have this yellow based top going into her bottoms and the yellow okay it doesn't go all the way up I, it looked to me like the yellow went all the way up and and to that joint that the head sits on but it is cut off a little bit so it does look like a really high um neckline which is very very accurate to the attire we have that red line going down the center we have some black accents on the front the arms have green and black accents around her wrist is green with yellow stripes. Now I do have some sloppy paint application here on that left arm. If you can see, it's kind of kind of smeared there on the back. I mean, look at this detail. This is really cool. Now, this reminds me of Siren here. Obviously, look at this. Look at this on the back. Like this is a detail that I would have never noticed unless I was doing a review for y'all. Right. But you can see that that design on her back really is simulating two sirens, a little cape here. And that's really, really cool. Now her bottoms are just painted green with a little yellow accent there. Even on the back side, it is a continuation of the pattern on the top. That's cool. The legs it looked like they might be a tint darker to simulate pantyhose. Very hard to me to tell uh, skin tones a lot of times with being colorblind, but it looks good. And then we have kind of this green paint going up her thighs with yellow stripes, covering her knees, going down to green boots, green kick pads, and even yellow showing through on the front and the back. Now, the one thing I will say, and we'll cover articulation, but she still has the same kind of boots that she's had on a lot of her figures, and... They're basic articulated uh, feet, you know. They don't have the side-to-side -side rocking motion. They don't have as much range of motion as a lot of the elite women's figures. It's kind of a reuse. This kick pad mold is kind of a reused piece they use on a lot of women's elites. So that's a little disappointing. However, I think the overall aesthetic of this figure, I think the way it looks, 
I think it was almost nearly perfectly executed. I think it just looks stunning. It is super, super cool. WWE Elite Series 112 Becky Lynch Chase Version. This attire is from the 2023 Payback Premium Live event. On this night, Becky would defeat Trish Stratus in a steel cage match to start off the event. Some overall first impressions of the Chase figure, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I actually prefer the Chase over the standard release. And that says something because I love the standard release of this figure, especially because it's an attire inspired by Siren the X-Men character. How cool is that that we got that in figure form? But here, I, something about the attire just stands out. I love, and I've said this before, I love women's wrestling figures and black attire when the attire is detailed and done right. And I think here it really does stand out. It looks it looks excellent. I absolutely love it. Now, obviously, we get that ladder again. We get the same extra hands. But I just had got to give my first impressions on the chase because I think it might be one of my favorite elites in my collection. That's how much I love it. All right, so obviously, the face sculpt, face scan, and hair sculpt and hair coloration are all the same than the standard release. But I just want to take a closer look at this one because when I was looking at it, it just looked... A little better than the standard release at least the way the scan was printed on I think this is a spectacular sculpting scan I love it I really really love it and the hair let's look at the hair on this one compared to that standards hair okay yeah it still looks like they went a little thick with that bright orange and it doesn't really follow the hair strands I think if the paint would have followed the hair strands more it would have looked a lot more realistic it would have really looked like highlights and here it, it like I said it looks like um, no shade, but looks like a, a customizer kind of added that. So that's really my only complaint with this head is kind of the, um, execution, I guess, of the hair highlights. But I appreciate that they did at least try, and especially because, as I mentioned, if you look at this figure from afar, it looks spectacular with those highlights. I absolutely love it. Now, actually, let me zoom in here. Let me get the standard out here, and we'll see if the faces look... I mean, y'all, I'm crazy. I, I've been doing this channel for a while now, and I'm crazy because they do look the same. But I still think this Chase face looks better. You have to let me know in the comments. I feel like my Chase face's scan is printed on perfectly, and the standard might be a little tiny bit off. I don't know. But I think I think either way, this, this new face scan sculpt is tremendous. So the attire is obviously what really stands out between this and the standard release. They're like night and day, but in a good way. This one's obviously night. The other one's like day. And I think it's really, really cool. Now, whenever they have a chase and a standard in the same set, more often than not, the chase figures have the same sculpt as the standard. And I was a little nervous to see how this figure sculpt was going to work considering the standard release is more of a bodysuit. And this one's a lot more revealing, but it actually works just fine. Now let's take a closer look and make sure of that. So the sculpting we have across the chest on the standard release here on the chase, it looks really, really good. You know, she's wearing that top, so it works fine. That non-dimpled belly button works because it's covered. So it actually looks like she has like a fabric of some sort over that midsection there. So that works good too. And yeah, as far as the sculpting goes, it works. Now the attire is what obviously stands out. I and mean, as you can see, she's got this much more revealing black attire with silver accents. On her arms, we have black armbands with silver accents. We have black circles around her wrist. And it's hard to tell if that forearm is molded in black. I don't think it is. Okay. So we just have black circles around the wrist. Now this attire is really cool. As I mentioned, it's a lot more revealing. And it has a lot of character. I love the design of it. And like I said, a, a lot of times you wouldn't think that I would like women's wrestling figures in just plain black attire. But I think when it's like this, when it has intricate detail in the paint application, it pops more than any of the figures, really. And this looks tremendous. I absolutely love it. I love the black with the silver. I love how there's a little design that goes over her midsection. And it's actually intricately painted, if you look here, with all the crossings going on with the paint. Now on the side, we actually have a little bit of a skin reveal there going up. We don't see that much on the bottoms. A lot of times it's just uniformly painted. We also have that design going around the back. And if you lift the hair, we have a lot more detail that they went out of their way to make, which is really, really cool. Once again, we have some uh, 
flesh paint on the side, making it a lot more revealing. And then the legs here. We have fishnet stockings, and that is so, so, so cool. I absolutely love that they had the fishnet stockings to make it not only accurate, but really does stand out from that standard release. And it's painted on very intricately. And what I love about when they apply the fishnet patterns, as you can see, it's not perfect. It's got some, some that aren't matched up. Some are a little clumpy. But it looks realistic because that's how it looks. That's how it looks, and especially by the end of the match. Now... She has knee sleeves painted on, and the right one is higher than the left. And I'll have to look at my other figure and look at the attire from that night. Maybe that's accurate. Maybe it's not. But either way, it's not a big difference there. And then we have those same uh, boots. The kick pads this time is just in all black. So, yeah, as far as the attire goes, I don't know. I just think this attire is really sharp looking. I prefer it over the standard. So now let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Now it's important to note, I do have every single one of Becky Lynch's figures. The Becky shelf is just loaded. It is so full right now and I love it. But this Survivor Series Elite on the far left release in 2022 is the one I wanted to compare to these two because it's it's kind of the most similar, I guess you could say, even though it looks drastically different as far as the attire goes. But I also wanted to show the Then Now Forever 4-pack Becky. It's, it's very different. As you can see, the face sculpt and scan is different. The hair is different, and the attire is just tremendous. This is the figure without the entrance attire, and the entrance attire is really what makes this figure stand out, but I just want to show you how beautiful this figure is, even without the entrance attire. Look how intricate this is. Now, there's really no reason for me to show this figure again. I just have to find any reason in the world to because I love this figure. I love it with the entrance attire, without it, but anyway, it's a very particular Becky to that night, so... On to these ones here. So, as I mentioned, the Survivor Series Sculpt and Scan is similar to, or it, it, a lot of people probably think it's the same as these new Sculpts and Scans we got in Elite Series 112, but it is drastically different. Let me show you here. So, if we zoom in, as you can see, the hair sculpt is obviously different in the hair coloration here. But the scan and sculpt is very, very different. And the one thing I didn't, it was kind of a knock on the Survivor Series sculpt and scan, if you look, is it's like emotionless. I, I, I don't know if it's trying to look aggressive, trying to look mean, but to me, it just looks completely emotionless. And it's amazing with this new sculpt and scan on the Becky, how it has so much more emotion just by opening her mouth a little bit. I think it looks tremendous. I think it looks so much better. And I had no complaints about this Sculptin Scan. I thought it looked just like her, honestly. So as you can see here, it is a new Sculptin Scan. And I really love the new one that they used. Now, these are also three of the Beckys that really stand out amongst all the Beckys. You know, I'm looking over at all my Beckys right now. And so many of them are so similar. They almost look identical. But these three really stand out. And honestly, if I had to choose one Becky, which I usually do in this segment, I usually say if you're going to choose one figure of this superstar, this is what you should choose. That's tough. That is tough because I think all three of these, these are three of the best Beckys besides that Then Now Forever, which I have to show again. There we go. You know, they're all very unique attires, but... Oh, it... I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say pick one Becky. I'm gonna say uh, pick them all because they're all awesome and they're all so different and unique in their own different ways. So yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of how that Survivor Series Elite stacked up with the Elite 112, and I think the Elite 112s, both the standard and the Chase, are far superior. And I loved the Survivor Series Becky. So overall, I give WWE Elite Series 112 Becky Lynch both the standard and the Chase versions overall scores of 9.8 out of tens now i know that's a high score but these figures are amazing i think these two are right on par with the then now forever four pack becky and that figure kind of has has an unfair advantage because it really came with tons of detail and effort put into the entrance attire that we normally wouldn't get in the elite line so that figure is awesome and amazing all on its own but these two elites stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with that figure in my opinion. I absolutely love the new face sculpt and face scan. And I love the attires. And they're both so different, but each attire has so much effort, care, and attention to detail put into it that they deserve these high scores. And Becky's had tons of figures, tons of figures. And these two, these might be my two favorite, obviously, with that than that forever Becky, but these figures are amazing. Now, the only reason, the only reason, and this is nitpicky, that they're not perfect tens, is I felt like the execution of the hair highlights in the front 
was a little off. I really don't think it looks that good. When you look at it up close, it looks a little sloppy. I think there's ways they could have executed it a little better. And if they did, these would have been perfect tens. But as they stand, these figures are tremendous. They're amazing. They're two of my favorite figures in the collection, and I absolutely love them. Now, my advice is I would definitely go to ringsidecollectibles.com and get them. Get them now. I think they're worth the prices, honestly. Now, if you want to have some fun and figure hunting, maybe not pay that price for the chase. Wait to find it in the stores. But I definitely suggest that you run, you don't walk, and try to get these as soon as possible because these figures are hot. And honestly, if Becky Lynch does officially announce her retirement, these might be hard to find on the pegs because these figures... I can't say enough good about them. I love them. Thanks for stopping by Lumber Jillville. Women's wrestling lives here. To get a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews, make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident of LJV today. Also, head on over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use coupon code LJV at checkout to save 10% on your next order of women's wrestling figures. Stay tuned, there are a lot of women's wrestling figure reviews coming very shortly. I appreciate y'all watching and have a great night, y'all.